so each one is connected with a particular, like, well, in um, the Caribbean you would call them like Orishas, a particular deity. And so this would be a deity that likes the color blue or the color red, that um, might be attracted by sparkling things, that the bottle caps and quirks could be referred to libations that were poured on the staff. Everything that's added to it is to increase its spiritual power and its attractiveness to spirits and acknowledging that different spirits would be attracted to different things. These are all objects that um, Brian has collected. He's an incredible collector <laughs> from a very early age. And they're also objects that are important to him personally. The wood was from um, his family farm and it's locust wood which is very dense and incredibly heavy wood. So these were a challenge to install, <laughs> but he wanted them to be um, in a place where people are sort of forced to interact, to brush against it. And we were a little concerned about putting up a please touch sign. <laughs> we didn't want too much touching, but at the same time, um, he wanted people to be able to like, you know, ring the bells or to like look at shells that are held in this one, so this might be like a, a deity associated with water. There's another beautiful one with different types of shells. So they all have um, a really fascinating texture, and the whole theme of materiality, I think, really <laughs> comes to life with Brian's work. They've been an inspiration for all of the workshops that they've held here. <laughs> right. Children especially um, uh, that you can go to Michael's and get crafts materials and create a real work of art like this. I'm not sure which deity is you know, attracted to 80 bucks, but <laughs> I'm sure there is one. And um, just they're really beautiful with they, all the variety of, of shininess, of sound, of um, a sense of like danger. And you know, like, we have like these nails and barbed wire sticking out. on the other side. Coming out of the men, men's restroom, you, you can see the teeth. The women, the women are shielded from the teeth. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought teeth either. 
actually it's two well they're two serpents yeah. they're two snakes and oh. then the, and they have a they, their tails can join and oh. then their teeth and you know the, the symbol of the serpent eating its tail right, right. Its own tail. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. so what and is the name of it um What's it called? I, I i think i titled it um the no, like i could eat my tail forever <laughs> 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 That's good. I was thinking of the Mobius strip of tail eating. <laughs> That's funny. My husband saves all of my kids' teeth. Oh. Three sons, and uh -huh. he's got this really? drawer of teeth. Wow. There's a there's he's a future not, project. He's not. He doesn't have a right side brain so much. <laughs> so I, I, but I look at this and think, hey, uh -huh. not a bad idea. idea. Those teeth. Mexican-American immigration and border, and this is, around here is where the Mexican-American border is, but basically she's talking about how permeable, you know, the whole idea of borders are, and how for thousands of years there has been immigration back and forth, and how, you know, sort of like temporary and, um, you know, in sort of arbitrary a political border is. Uh, she used a topographical, well she creates a sort of topographical feeling with this uh, fabric, but it's based on an aerial um, photograph that she took herself from an airplane. And then the 